Hey guys, my name is Sandra and today you are watching the walkthrough of 5 man normal dungeon Stormstone Brewery which is the new dungeon on new data disk Mist of Pandaria. Today we are gonna show uh, the most important and the final boss in this Stormstone Brewery which name is Yan Tzu the Uncase Kid. Uh, he got uh, those abilities, Brew Bolt, Brew Mastery Wheat, Brew Mastery Ale and Brew Mastery Stone. Brew Bolt is very important for tank. Uh, if there are no players near Yan Tzu, uh, he will begin casting a Brew Bolt and he inflicts 50,000 frost damage and increases magic damage taken by the target by 10% for 6, se six seconds. <laughs> Sorry. And this effect stacks. Uh, so be near the Yan Tzu, uh, near the tank and it will be okay. Only melee damage, no spell damagers. Uh, second one is Brewmastery Wheat. Uncle Gale's crazy experiments grant Yan Tzu one of two wheat brew abilities. Uh, First one is bloat. Yantu infuses a random player with an excessive quantity of brew. This bloat causes brew to gush from their ears for 30 seconds and it's inflicting 20,000 frost damage and knocking back targets in a 10 degree cone on either side of bloated player. Uh, blackout Brew. The heavy Blackout Brew inflicts 15,000 frost damage to all players and applies free stacks of Blackout Brew. Uh, stacks can be removed by moving and jumping. If Blackout Brew reaches 10 stacks, the Brew stuns the player for 10 seconds. So moving is very important also. Uh, third one is Brew Mastery Ale. Uncle Gale's new fermentation producers grant Yan Tzu one of two ale brew abilities. This is very important for damagers. Uh, he Yan Tzu covers himself with eight small bubbles. Each bubble grants Yan Tzu 10% damage reduction. This effect stacks. Uh, Yan Tzu summons 4 Yasti Brew Elementals to aid him and he are the, they are doing uh, ferment. The Yasti Brew Elementals fire a fermentation beam towards Yan Tzu, the uncase kid, but players may intercept the beam and receive its effect by standing between the two elementals. The fermentation restores 1% of health and mana every 1 second to the affected target. They are also doing Brew Bolt, which inflicts 10,000 Frost damage. Uh, in the last stage, which is named Brewmaster Stout, Uncle Gale has modified the family receipt and granting Yan Tzu one of two stowed brew abilities. First one is Carbonation. Yan Tzu fills the room with Carbonation for 20 seconds. The Carbonation inflicts 1000 force damage every 1 second to enemies that are close to the ground and prevents them from attacking or casting spells due to acute asphyxiation. In addition, carbonation causes fizzy bubbles to spawn. Fizzy bubbles uh, clicking on a fizzy bubble grants a player the ability to fly for 20 seconds. Uh, so don't do a mistake which I do in my video. You have to click on bubbles and it will be okay or jump in. Well of Sat is second ability in Brewmaster Restored. Yan Tzu periodically summons four walls of Satsi Brew. The onrushing brew inflicts 50,000 frost damage every one second to players that stand within the wall and stuns them for five seconds. Satsi uh, nature of Yan Tzu grants players the ability to jump extra high. So pay attention on it and now we can have a look how it works in the whole encounter. Thank you for watching and bye!
such a heavy aroma. It is the perfect brew. A of storm stout will be sung once again throughout the hills. Uncle Dow, the jade servant was left in your care. What have you done? Look in, come back with some stories. I'm so close. Maybe if I just look at it. 